It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. For today's episode of Comparing Mythology, we're going to talk about the oldest story of Adam and Eve and recorded history. And by the way, I'm not necessarily exaggerating when I say that this is actually the oldest story for Adam and Eve to date. My primary source for this claim comes directly from this book right here. It's actually called Adam, Eve, the Devil, A New Beginning, which goes into great details about a stone tablet that was found not so long ago that has the oldest recorded story for Adam and Eve in it. On the back of the book, it says right here that a number of clay tablets for Uruguay, dating from the late 13th century BCE, show new light cobalt and Demore argue on the background the first chapters of Genesis and the myth of Adam, and these tablets, El, the creator deity, and his wife Ashura, live in a vineyard or garden on the slopes of Mount Atarek, known in the Bible as the mountain where Noah's Ark came to rest. The first sinner was not a human being, but an evil god named Horad, who wanted to dispose El. Harad was thrown down from the mountain of the gods, and in revenge, he transformed the tree of light in the garden into a tree of death and enveloped the whole world in a poisonous frog. Adam was sent down to restore life on earth, but failed because Harad, in the form of a giant serpent, bit him. As a result, Adam and his wife lost their immortality. In other words, it seems as though that based upon the discovery, that this particular story actually predates the story that we do know about Adam and Eve within the Bible. So the question then becomes, what exactly is Haran? What exactly are they referring to when they're talking about Haran? Based upon what we know so far, it seems as though that Haran was actually an Egyptian deity that was associated with magic and exorcism. And it seems as though that he also appeared and many other stories within the ancient Canaanite religions involving the deities of El, Ashura, and the other Canaanite gods. One such example of this is a story that is called Snapchu Cries Out in Heaven, dealing with snake bites at Uruguay. It says right here, the mirror, daughter of the source, daughter of the rocks, daughter of heaven and the abyss, she cried out to Snapchu, her mother, Snapchu, my mother. Bring a message to El, the conference of the two rivers, the meeting of the two abysses. Here is my incantation against the bite of the snake that is venomous, a snake that is from it. Let the charmer remove from it, let him cast off venom, let him more so drink the snake, give food to the snake, let him set up the chair and take his seat. She called out to Snapchu, her mother, Snapchu, my mother, bring a message to Baal at the summit of Snaphan. Here is my incantation against the bite of the snake that is venomous. From it, the snake, let the charmer remove. From it, let him cast out a venom. Let him moreover drink to the snake, give food to the snake. Let him set up the chair and take his seat. She calls out to Snapchu, her mother. Snapchu, my mother, bring a message to the Dagon. Here is my incantation against the bite of the snake that is poisonous. From it, the snake, let the charm remove. From it, let him remove off the venom. Let him morph over, drink to the snake, give food to the snake. Let him sit up on the chair and take his seat. She calls out to Snapchu, her mother. Snapchu, my mother, bring a message to Annette and Itar. Here is my incantation against the bite of the snake that is venomous. From it, let the charm remove from it, let him cast out the venom, let him more so give drink to the snake, give food to the snake. Towards Horon, she turned her face because she's still losing her offspring. He, Horon, proceeded to the town of the east. Thereupon, he set his face to the greater Ashura and lesser Ashura. She pulled out from the trees a terror risk, and from the branches dead wood, the terror risk he snaked it out. They crush it, he it, a gathering he gathers it, a deliverer he bends it. Haran arrives at his house and betake himself into his courtyard. Venom swing like a stream and it flew like a brook. 
Behind her, the chamber of incantation. Behind her, the chamber she locks. Behind her, she inserts the bronze lashes. Open up the chamber of incantation. Open up the chamber that I may enter. The palace that I may protect myself. Provide as my bridal payment snakes. Lizards provide us a bridal payment and young serpents as my price. I grant snakes as your bridal payment, young serpent as your price. Now that we contextualize everything, let's read the story out loud for this particular version of Adam and Eve that was released before the one that we see for the book of Genesis. Like with any good story, this particular story also starts out with a creation myth. It says right here, the bull El, his father, groaned and cried out, El, the king who established his existence. There, shoulder to shoulder, were the brothers, whom El caused to rise in a hurry. There, the name of El brought the dead into being. And Balu, the Almighty, answered, Surely I can mount you like our creator, like the old generation that created us. Balu struck forth with a full hand. The god, Hadu, filled his finger. The offerings of the virgin Anantu was the flower, yet the offerings of the most gracious of Balu's sisters. Then she headed straight for El at the fountainhead of two rivers, in the middle of the stream of the two floods. She appeared in the encampment of El, and into the camp of the king, the father of the years, she entered the stronghold, the encampment of the creator and lord of the deities. The bull El, her father, heard her voice from the seven chambers El answered, and the virgin Anetu answered, Let us not the son of your mansion or El, let us not the daughter of your mansion rejoice. Whoever is going on earth for us into the vineyard of the great gods, the champion was exiled, they gave the earth to his hand, the bow of Adam flew. The serpent let fall spit, it bit him. Look, the vowing mouth. Look, the singing fangs. Phonetically, he tried to loosen it. But the mouth of the serpent struck. He did not know the bond of better, nor he understand to conquer the poison. The poison filled him. Yea, the destroyer made him twist. The flesh of Zamizazu fell. He wept like a boy and shed tears like a little one. Sabsu called from heaven, Look, why did it not fall, O oh my friend? Why did the flesh of Zamizawu fall? And why do you weep like a boy? Do you shed tears like a little one? Thereupon he answered. He came back to her words, Please answer to me, my creature is Sabsu. Why am I on my way to death? Return ditto to the whole recantation. Sabsu called from heaven, streaking, Whoa, let me recite a lament. They will answer how bitter. Boiling liquid pours forth from La Anu, the bitterness of the word. You, she, stripped the priest. They walk on foot. He forgot the hand, forgot the foot. Sabsu cried to the flood, her hands to the lock of her head, and weeping out, let me bitter. Why was Adam exalted? Look, do not to give me someone who is bound to die. Poison. A good nature woman, return to the god Sindhu. Repeat to him, O Sindhu, now follow. Lift up the two mountains, O God, and descend them into the house of Habanu, and the long of mercy on you. Blind the serpent. Ohanu, collect is covering Ohanu. Collect Osapsu, the poison from the mountains, is power on earth. Collect the poison, Osapsu, from the fog on earth. Collect the poison from the mouth, the destruction of the mouth. May the fodder collect the poison. May Sapsu collect the fog on the earth of the power of the poison. May El and Hamaru. Collect the poison. May Balu and Daganu collect the poison. Collect O Sapsu, the fog from the mountains. On the earth, the poison lives from the mouth of Bider, the destruction. 
from the mouth of the viral the paralysis of the lame one. May you receptive, may you arouse the male breeding animal. May you be hot, exclude blood, exclude life. I will make lean the destroyer of healthy babies. I myself will bow down on the day you bear. He is fees the great gods will put by life. The daughters of humankind will defeat death. She will not die. Food. To sum up the story, the god El and his game basically create the whole entire universe. After he created the whole entire universe, it seems as though that Huron, the Egyptian god that I mentioned earlier, set Adam and Eve up. And basically, Adam was poisoned directly from Huron. And since then, the many Canaanite gods tried their hardest to make sure that Adam is not necessarily poisoned. In other words, it seems as though that Adam and Eve were not the ones that created original sin, but it was actually Huron, the Egyptian god, that caused sin to go out in the whole entire world. There's also another variation of the story that does not have as many mystic lines. So the story says right here that the mother of the male breeding animal and the female breeding animal, the daughter of the source and the daughter of the stone, the daughter of heaven and flood, called the Sabsu her mother, Sabsu, my mother, carry my voice to El at the fountain head of the two rivers, at the confluence of the two rivers. My incantation is a poisonous serpent has bitten, a serpent that has sought its skin. Let there be a karma of the destroyer for it. Let there be an exer of the poison for it. Let him hit, let him hit the serpent. Let him feed the serpent that has sought its skin. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing, testing one, two, three, four. She called to Sapsu, her mother. Sapsu, my mother, carry my voice to Balu on the heights of Sabanu. My cantation is a poisonous serpent has bitten, a serpent that has sought a skin. Let there be a comma of the destroyer for it. Let there be an exerber of poison for it. Let him hit. Let him blind the serpent. Let him feed the serpent that sought his skin. Let him place a chair and sit down. She called to Sapsu, her mother. Sapsu, my daughter, carry my voice to Daganu and Tapsu. My incantation is this. A poison serpent has bitten. A serpent has sought his skin. Let there be a chamber of the destroyer for it. Let there be an exer for it. Well, poison for it. Let him hit. Let him blind a serpent. Let him feed the serpent that sought it. Let him place a chair and sit down. Uh -huh. Let him place a serpent and sit down. She called to Sapsu, her mother. Sapsu, my mother, carry my voice to Balu on the heights of Sabanu. My cantation is a poisonous serpent has bitten, a serpent that has sought a skin. Let there be a comma of the destroyer for it. Let there be an exerber of poison for it. Let him hit. Let him blind the serpent. Let him feed the serpent that sought his skin. Let him place a chair and sit down. She called to Sapsu, her mother. Sapsu, my daughter, carry my voice to Daganu and Tapsu. My incantation is this. A poison serpent has bitten. A serpent has sought his skin. Let there be a chamber of the destroyer for it. Let there be an exer for it. Well, poison for it. Let him hit. Let him blind a serpent. Let him feed the serpent that sought it. Let him place a chair and sit down. Hawanu face turned pale because his prosperity remained children. He left the city of the east. He removed the Jupiter from the trees. Yes, the tree of death from the serps. Scrubs. Zunipper. Zunipper. He removed the Zunipper from the trees. Yes, the tree of death from the scrubs. The Zunipper, he's so good. Oh my god. He removed the Zunipper from the trees. Yes, the tree of death from the scrubs. The Zunipper, he shook it out. The day clutcher, he put it away. The scrap, he took it off. The wall, he took it off. Amaru went to his house and proceeded to his residence. The poison had become weak like a wadi. It had flew away like a dish. Behind her, the mansion is my incantation. Behind the mansion she closed, behind her she let down the bronze bolts, 
open up the house is my incantation. Personally, I think it's really cool to find the direct origin of the story, largely because for like a long period of time it seemed as though that we had to make guesses based upon other texts that were like from Mesopotamia about where exactly the origins of Adam and Eve come from. And now we do in fact know that originally the Garden of Eden was actually polytheistic in nature. Now that kind of reconfirms my idea about that whole entire nature largely because it says in Genesis chapter 1 verse 25, let us make man in our own image, suggesting the whole entire Canaanite pantheon of gods. And this whole entire version that we just read out loud, we confirms the idea that such people back then believe in more than one god. So it seems as though that the original Garden of Eden story was once polytheistic in nature. So what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't want <laughs> him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.